2017, I do kickboxing at Kalamata Kickboxing and Martial Arts. So I started in 2016, I was 10 at the time. I just went to accompany my brother who was trying out um, karate. We saw the kickboxing downstairs and I really wanted to try it too. I didn't start with anybody, I, didn't. I just made friends when I got there. I had my class at the back because it was like a kid's class and I had my instructor and it was awesome. So it was a really good place to start. Sometimes people are surprised when I say I do kickboxing. I guess it's just because it seems like such a intense, harsh sport and um, I, I don't know, I'm just a small person. So it doesn't like, I don't know, suit, I guess. But um, in reality, it's not like that. So. Kickboxing has ranks. They, um, they have singlets to show your rank. You start off as a white singlet, and then you go to yellow, and then orange, oh, then blue, then green, then brown, then black, and then you get like special ones, like second degree and stuff like that, because black is considered your first degree. I am brown singlet, the one before black. I'm going for my black soon. For black singlet, um, you have to intensify all your training. You have to get endurance, strength, fitness, everything you have to make sure it's at a really high level because the test is really hard. You have to do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups. You have to do a lot of pad work, so you have to show your skills. You have to do uh, shadow sparring, and then, then you move on to actually like fighting with people. You have to do like eight rounds, I think, and then you also have to do grappling at the end of that. Yeah, you just have to show that you're like perfect in everything that you do, so that's something I'm working up to. <laughs> when you enter the mats in your dojo, you, you bow in and so you enter your state of mind, a place where it's all positive and it's just you and kickboxing and you forget everything outside of it. When you're sparring at your, your ranks, you respect your higher rank and your higher rank will adjust themselves to your level and so you can fight fairly and um, so that you learn more as well. There are a whole range of tournaments and stuff for kickboxing. We do a style called Muay Thai. So that's like a particular type of kickboxing from Thailand. The lead up is intense because you have to make sure you're ready for something like that. A while ago, I did, I did a gym show. It's not um, like a professional one or anything like that. Like you don't have a winner. It's just to get a taste of what it's like to be in the ring. It, it was a lot of training, so they had you join the fight class, you, um, you go for 5k runs like every other day, you, you get lots of endurance training, so you amp everything up and you get lots of fitness tips and stuff like that and a lot of conditioning to get used to being hit and not being able to stop. Like even when you're in the ring, you can't just like fall to the ground if something hurts. You have to like keep fighting the person that you're fighting. Um, it was scary, yes, when we went into the ring, but once you're in the ring, I don't think you can... It's just like adrenaline, so you can't really hear anyone around you. You have instructors in your corner telling you like exactly what to do and to like hit them a certain way or like do something. And you have like, you take your breaks in between the matches. They'll, they'll help you and tell you what to do, but it's really hard to listen to them because you're, you're just so focused on trying to hit that person. So. It's difficult, but it's good. Kickboxing has shaped my life quite a bit. Um, physically, uh, it's, it's good for fitness. It's also really good mentally. I think having kickboxing is like being great, especially during high school. It's a big like stress reliever and you can get everything out in kickboxing and leave it all there. So it's, it's very good to have. Kickboxing is a great experience. I would recommend it for most people. You can, you can meet new people there, make friends, build up your social skills a bit. It gives you a lot of confidence and stuff because when you like switch partners and stuff like that and you have to meet new people and be able to just like talk to them, just small talk, you know, here and there or like help somebody out. It's very good, especially if you're like a higher rank and you go like you're partnered with somebody lower rank and you, you need to teach them a few things. Like that's really good and helpful skill set to have be able to teach or to um, cook converse with people, it's, it's a good thing to have, I reckon.